it's almost innately human to farm. It just feels right to just be connected to the land and be connected to nature. Hinata Farms is a farm located in Chicago growing Japanese crops and other Asian varieties. What makes it a Japanese heritage farm is we grow a lot of crops that the Japanese community is familiar with. So that might be stuff that are in Japanese grocery stores. So they're not exotic or anything for the Japanese community, but it might be new for people who aren't familiar with it. This one is a staple for Japanese cuisine. This is a green shiso. There's different kinds. This is a Japanese cucumber. You can see that usually it's more spiky. The skin is a lot thinner. The texture is crisper. It's called shishito pepper. This one is like a green bean, but it's called long beans. Windy City Harvest is the urban agriculture department of the Chicago Botanic Garden. Our mission is food, health, and jobs. So we do that through seven agricultural programs that we look at as a continuum of opportunity. Here today, we're at our incubator farm where we have six farm businesses who are operating on their own. I really like being in this incubator space because you're able to be here with other beginning farmers and the community's been really supportive. Hinata Farm and Rachel herself is a great example of an apprentice who transitions then into the incubator program. I'm heavily inspired by the practices of Masanobu Fukuoka. I guess he coined the term natural farming. It's an approach where you kind of use what nature already does on its own because they've Nature has already perfected a lot of these processes, so with that understanding, you go in and try to farm. This space also provides a way for the Asian American community to be able to find a community through farming. That's something that I'm understanding is increasingly important. I've just been really fortunate to get the support of a lot of people.